like 32nd are back in PW with the Boltons again. Griffin's back as a maester, but I thought he'd take some fancy robes this time. And for this episode, we're not going to start with a battle, even though there is an epic battle near the end. We're going to start with the standard PW and the funny moments that come with it. Such as this Lorraine thinking he's going to get a heal from a Bolton after they hate us so much. He then thought it would be a good idea to take a swing at Babyhead, which should not end well. Maybe he just swung at you, you can kill him. He swung at me? Yeah, he, 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 yeah. Had, he had a bucket okay. of yours. Being the clever Mountain Blade player he was, he stepped around his couching. So Babyhead took a different tactic. Known as the RP tactic. Of course, the doctor who gets paid all the time for heels runs for the money bag. Typical. Upon arriving back at the castle, I thought I'd bully some of the tin cans who definitely don't over overcompensate with their massive two handed swords. Criffin, as usual, not giving a shit, after he tries to kick me and threatens me with his sword, kicks him square in the chest, which then he kicks back the doctor. And you never kick the doctor because if the doctor loses health and he dies, everyone dies. Well, sure, she's got himself knocked off the healing list for Criffin. So we left him to swing his sword about as he pretends he can use it properly. While we were still pissing about in the courtyard, people we know hitting each other, and one of Winkledink's streamers was DDoSing our team speaks, so we couldn't hear each other, she didn't want to join House Bolton. Shorty realised he needed another heal. But he didn't remember that Griffin told him he wasn't going to get another heal. So I'll watch and observe, and Shorty tries to figure out as to what is going on. Why won't he heal me? Because you hit the dot, that's why he won't heal you, you idiot. I love how Ruse goes up the ladder first. Because you kicked me. me and then he kicked me. I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't you get, don't I can't get the doctor's your friends, do you? you? Fucking hell. There's, there's, too, there's too much dribble, mate. Remove the dribble from your mouth and you don't need to. Look, Lori, I can't, I can't cream penetrate cream. your dribbler shield. <laughs> the dribbler aura is too strong. Oh my god. Ruse, you're so egoist. More, so please. Booze, have I got an answer? Have I got an answer? That's not good enough. <laughs> Classic 30 second skirmish of banter. Shorty is not impressed. What is your IQ, Shorty, <laughs> honestly? <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> That's racist. Well, how is that racist? Get, 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 the, get the heel off Sentinel, do I, and I'm a bell end veil. Yeah. <laughs> You just vaporize your helmet, Greyjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Took his fucking money. <laughs> Heal now. Oh, Heal. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Are you what? Are you Imagine. fucking what? Hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh run, no, run away no, in the car, horse. Go on. We love Shorty. Really, he is one of our best members. Most committed and most loyal. But when there's no war, what else is there to do? Oh, give me that bread. You fat fuck. You don't need it. You sit on a horse all day, you fat fuck. I need it more. Give me that bread. <laughs> oh, there's a cat horse there. Give me that. Give me that shit. It's hard work being on a horse. Yeah, it's really Trust hard, me. isn't it? You fat fuck. Board of bullying our fellow faction members, we decided to do something else. And that something was to leave the castle to get me a melee weapon. More dominantly, the bamboo spear. On the new map, to get to the other side, you have to go through Outlaw Camp, where we met these charming lot. All 13 of them. And I had, no, had armour, and they didn't. And you can probably guess what happens next. Fucking militia. They're following us. <clears throat> no, please, fuck off, kill them. Well, safe to say I shut my pants at the thought of losing my gear to some militia. So I bombed it down the path while my boss and buddies covered me.
After evading the outlaws, we finally made it to the armory of the castle. Only to find out, they don't actually sell bamboo spears here. What a great waste of time. And risk of life. And loot. And money. Fucking PW, I'm playing this shit again. Stupid. Once we finally return back to safety, running through the outlaw camp once again, but the outlaws have run off by this point to fight the Night's Watch. I came on a few weeks later for a siege against the organised factions, but without Griffin. So we're back on PW. I got some more 30 second members on to join the Bolsons this time, because it was the Lorraines, and Targaryens, and the Anarians. So three organised factions against us in Mount Hellstone. It was an 80 versus 50 situation, and it was going to get messy. We were warned of the first wave arriving, so me and the other archers got back on the wall. And as you can see, they came spewing out of that Hellstone gate. A fucking ton. Does that uh, ask your question, Arnold Ben? Because I honestly couldn't count the metric fuck ton of soldiers running towards us. But uh, resume the music, of course. Of course, none of the factions wanted to push by themselves because they'll be the first one to die. So the Anarians, a former Bolton who is now their king, decides to do it himself out of spite. Or bravery, depending which side you're seeing this from. But with their numbers, we don't take them very seriously. So the Anarians made their first push from the stable, the push that will definitely break our line. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. Daenerys had successfully pushed to our wall, so the Lorraines followed suit. They were starting to gather up now to push to the main gate.
was like five days. I'll stop the music for a second here to see that these two are having an absolute fucking whale of a time trying to work out how to make horses while there's a fight going on not 20 metres behind them. I mean they could help us, but you know, being nuts they are, I'm sure they're having a great time by themselves. Archers.
got an arc. They jump, they jump, Guys, they jump, on. they jump. I said it wasn't an easy fight, but after they pushed, retreated, pushed, we pushed them all the way back, back past the Hellstone gates. Then everyone to gather themselves some free loot as usual after a battle. It was a good war. It was a hard war. Several times there, we could have uh, could have lost, mainly because I ran away from a guy who could have got the gate control. So I was a bit of a bitch, but um, luckily, other people were more manly than me. I'm actually, Swift, I was actually talking to Nips about it, and I was good. Would it be possible to invite for one of your sessions? We always want more members for the 30 second. We're 60 strong as it is, active that is. We have like maybe, I don't know, a thousand enlisted, which you wouldn't believe. But yeah, if you do want to join the 30 second, have a look at the link I'll put in the description down below. It is a good regiment, probably one of the best. But that's enough plugs for now. All the good gear is gone. And as you can see to my left, there's a Richfield villager who is quite clearly wearing red and is not an enemy at all. But the archers thought it'd be a good idea to keep shooting them. 
plus the fact they were very hungry for more gear, so it did not end well for him. Stop shooting him with like his dipshit, ar dipshit archers, can you tell them, someone to tell them? Tell the archers to, to stop shooting him. Oh my f... It's too late, they've just killed him, it's too late now. Well, more gear for us I guess. Wouldn't say it's moral to do such a thing, but you know. PW is PW, don't expect to keep your gear for long. Turns out the gates are bugged as well. After the Master Smith fixed it, you can go in one way but can't go in the other. So if uh, we get a map update for that, that'd be great. It's more of a community announcement this. Nothing interesting about it. Well, apart from the fact that Tin Can just walked through the door. I know I'd shit my pants with a Tin Can appeared. And it was safe to say we gained a lot of loot, including Phoenix got himself a full Tin Can. Needs celebrational music. If I die, I better live again. Red and black, four, five, that's him again. Four plus five, that's nine, that's born, that's G-O-D, body raps, that's him again. Why do I need to explain to you lames? I don't play by your rules. I invented my game and my brain is a pool. I reflected the pain. Call me Michael cause I resurrected the fame and I did it by being the realist. My claim to the crown doesn't need your acceptance. You need to respect it and here come the weapons or here come the weapons or here come the... I'll tell you how they all think. Is he a Buddhist, a gangster, or king? Is he DC, is he New York, Miami, or is there a... Oh yes. Oh yes. Everyone has full tin can. We destroyed three factions today, including the plebs who came on later, of course, just, you know, couch lancing, getting whatever gear they can off the floor, typical pleb behaviour. But it was a very good siege. The 30 second contributed massively today. If you wish to join the 30 second and play in mods such as PW, or Bello Civili, Rome at War, North and South, and NW obviously, then be sure to sign up, or at least jump in the team so you can have a look for yourself, see if you like it. Invites are available if you're in a, another regiment and you don't want to leave straight away and you want to have a look at what it's like for yourself. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.